Hey everybody, I'm Matt from the Creator Team and you're watching our weekly workshop. This week, we're gonna make a searchable video library app that uses lots of different features. Uh, one of the biggest things we're gonna to do today actually doesn't really have anything to do with the fact that we're making a video app, so I recommend watching all the way through if you wanna learn how to make our search component actually search through data that you have in your app. So today we're doing search component, we're using route parameters, and we're gonna tie all that in with a list of YouTube videos that you can put in your app. We also support Vimeo, but you could you know, support kind of any video content that you wanna use. So the first thing we're gonna do is we are going to start a new project, and we are gonna call this video library. And we're just gonna start with blank here, do something a little simple. And we are gonna change the header color to, let's do red. YouTube uses red, that's a good video color, right? Uh, okay, so this page, what we want to start doing is this page we're going to have all of our tutorial videos. So let's call it tutorials, okay? And then what we are going to do is copy over some code that we actually kind of use in Creator, which is a service that shows us all the videos that we have, all of our tutorial content. So you can find this at github.usecreator.com. That's going to take you to our GitHub where you can open the making a searchable video library section here and open tutorials.js. I'm just gonna do raw, it's easier to copy and paste here. And we'll talk about what this is in just a second here. So we're gonna start by creating tutorials.js over here. And then we have to go to code settings. So here's this module, right? Let's paste in the content we just took. And that module is tutorials. So we have to make sure in our code settings that we actually include the tutorials module in our Angular modules in order to import this code we just wrote into our actual app. So tutorials is listed in our Angular modules. And we have tutorials as the module name in tutorials.js, which is an other JavaScript file that we added to our app. Now let's make this big and talk about it for a second. So this starts off with a service that is our tutorial service. And its main job is gonna be able to just store information about the tutorials, okay? So we start off by having a variable that's a list. So each list item here has a key uh, that's easily accessible. So here's our creator deep dive video with the key just deep dive, a description and in-depth overview of the new creator, and then the YouTube ID of the actual video. And we do that for all the tutorial content. Now. We also might want these accessible via this easy key instead of being you know, in a list format. So I also set up an object called tutorial keys. We loop through the whole list and just set uh, tutorial keys dot toggling content equal to this whole object. And we do that for every single tutorial. Then we're gonna return this service as a list of the list we made and keys, the keys we made. So this kind of just gets us two ways to look at our tutorial video content. You can set up whatever kind of object you'd like with whatever, whatever kind of data you'd like. None of this really matters. This is just the data we're going to use today. And we are going to search through both the name and the description field. All right, so let's go back to our tutorials page here and let's do two things. Let's move over our search component, okay? And then let's drag over a list uh, and the reason I dragged over a list is Creator likes to be smart. I actually want a thumbnail list item. If I drag over a thumbnail list item here, it's actually going to append it to the form, but I wanted these things to be two separate things. So dragged over a list, I'm gonna kill two of the items, and then we are going to change this to a thumbnail. And we're gonna repeat this thumbnail based on the tutorials. So let's go back down to our tutorials page controller, and let's make sure to inject the tutorial service that we use. Now you see that's capital tutorials because over here we're injecting the service, not the module. So include tutorials, right? And we are going to do a couple different things here. Okay, so first of all, let's do scope.narrowed tutorials equals tutorials.list. Okay. And narrow tutorials, uh, the reason I called it narrow down is because we're gonna narrow it based on this search container. But right now, let's just get some content in here and then we'll work on narrowing it down. So on our list item, we are going to want to add in here, let's make this small. We are going to want to, actually I don't want my video covering it up. So Angular directives, uh, let's do ng repeat and let's do for tutorial in narrowed tutorials. Okay, so this is gonna repeat this list item. We get the tutorial, so up here in content, we can do 
template tags tutorial.name. On line two, we can do template tags tutorial.description. And we are going to want to allow word wrap on that description. Okay, now for the thumbnail, normally, you know, in your service, you probably have like a square image. Uh, I didn't want to go through and get square images for all of our tutorials. So I'm going to, you know, take the image right from YouTube. It's going to squish it a little bit because the YouTube images are rectangles. Like I said, if you want square images, just, you know, add an image field to the service and make sure that you have square images. So let me pull up here the URL for this image. So we're going to switch the image upload thumbnail to a text input. And we're, I'm going to paste something in here, which is a YouTube URL with a max res default uh, thumbnail that they give us with template tags tutorial dot ID. And remember dot ID is the YouTube ID. So we're going to get a YouTube video URL straight into our thumbnail image. So as you can see, we get a URL here that's nothing because YouTube, we don't actually have tutorial dot ID set to anything yet. Okay. So let's save this whole thing. Make sure our code down here is saved. Like I said, narrow tutorials is going to get looped through and hopefully populate this. So there we go. We have all of our tutorials listed here with their slightly squished YouTube thumbnail, the name and the description. So now let's move on and start to get this search field to work. So we're going to want to do a couple different things here. The first thing we're going to want to do is set up scope.data equals search, which is a blank string. Okay, and we're going to tie that via ng model to our search component. So we're going to do uh, data.search as the value there. Then what we're going to want to do is we're going to want to kick off a search function every time that changes. So let's do scope.search equals function. Save that. And over here, we're going to go back to our search component and do ng change search and double parentheses so it actually calls the function. So every time the model that it's attached to changes, it's going to call this scope.search function. Now in scope.search, we are going to have a little bit of fun here. So the first thing I want to do is set s equal to scope.data.search.2 lowercase. Now, the reason we're doing two lowercase is actually because, uh, you know, if the tutorial name has capital letters, like capital the word creator, we don't have to require, we don't want to require people to type in capital letters in their search. We want the search to be case insensitive. So throughout this entire search function, we're going to make sure everything is to lowercase so that uh, case doesn't actually matter when you're running the search. All right, now we're going to do if s equals nothing, we are going to just literally take this scope dot narrowed results, set it to the overall tutorial dot list and do a return. So if you've backspaced and cleared your search, this is going to set it back to the original entirety of the list. Now, if we're past that, that means you have some search text. So we can set scope dot narrowed tutorials to something else. We're going to set that to tutorials dot list dot filter. And with filter, we're going to pass it a function and that function gets each individual item from the list passed to it. Now, the way dot filter works is you're going to return true or false based on whether or not you want the item uh, for that iteration specifically returned to the new list. So it's going to call this function on repeat for every item in the list. And then it's going to return a new list that we're going to set to that narrow tutorials. So in here, we are going to do if something if our search matches, we're going to return true. And if we didn't get past that, we're going to return false at the bottom. So let's write our search here. Now you can have your search work any way that you want. Like I said, we're going to search through lowercase name and description. You might have uh, keywords, you might have any other number of things that you want to search through. This is where you write the code and return true to do that. So we're going to do tutorial dot name dot to lowercase dot index of s, our search term, is greater than negative one, which means we found that search term in the name somewhere. It's got a position in the string of zero or more. Uh, or we're going to do tutorial dot description dot to lowercase dot index of s is greater than negative one to search that description field. So now whenever this 
data.search model changes, we're going to call search and set narrow tutorials to a different list. So if I just typed everything correctly, we should preview this and see that as we type, our list is going to change. So let's search for this deep dive by just searching for the word deep. So as you can see, we're starting to change already. D E E P. We, you know, we got only the deep dive there. So our search is fully functional now based on name and description. But we probably want each of these things to, when you click them, go to a separate page to actually view the tutorial video. So let's rig that up. So let's add a new page blank here. And let's call this page tutorial, singular tutorial. Okay. And in here, we are going to want to set a route parameter called video key. No default because there's never going to be like a default state for this. We're always going to want to pass it some information. Now in the controller for the specific tutorial, we're going to want to inject the tutorial service and set scope.tutorial equal to tutorials.keys and then we're going to take in state params dot video key. Now this state params dot video key, what that links to is the route parameter video key that we're going to pass to it. So we're just doing that key based lookup and setting the video strictly to that. So now let's do a couple different things here. Before I get fancy, let's just drag in a paragraph and let's, whoops, let's set this paragraph to video dot description. Then let's do something weird. Now, Creator doesn't necessarily support template tags in the title of the pages because we generate the state and the routes and all this stuff from your title. But that doesn't mean we can't override the title of the page. So I actually don't want the title of this page to say tutorial. I want the title of this page to say the name of the video. So let's go down to Angular Directives and add title as a directive, which is just a standard Ionic property that you put on an IN view. And let's set that to video.name. And then let's open up our directives view here and make sure that that title is actually set on IN view. We're going to save and close. So what should happen now is when somebody visits this page and sends a video key as a route parameter, it's going to set the title of the page to that video.name and show the video description. So let's go back and actually link up this list item. So we're going to link it up to the tutorial page where the video key is going to be this tutorial tutorial.key. Okay, we can use template tags in those. So now when we preview, we're going to be able to click on, you know, let's just pick a, uh, let's pick forms, we're going to pick forms, and nothing happened because we messed up. So let's open up our inspect here, console, console was cleared. Now what did we do wrong? Okay, tutorial.key was passed. Tutorial is here, video.description. Oh, we set scope.tutorial down here instead of scope.video like we've been using. So let's do scope.video in our controller, double check that we have video.description, double check down here that we use video.name. All right, that makes sense. So let's go back to our list preview. Now that we're setting the right variables, we can click forms and we will see forms here and the description. So this, you know, we click a different one. I click custom code support, custom code support, the description for that. So now let's go back to our tutorial page here and let's drag over our video component. Now this video component, and you know what, let's actually get a little bit of space in here. Let's move a spacer in between these and set that spacer to 10 pixels. Uh, now this video, it's always going to show default and preview, uh, but let's choose YouTube here and we have that YouTube ID. That YouTube ID is video.id here. So video component. YouTube, we're passing the video.id. Now, when we preview our app and we click on Creator Deep Dive, it should load that video straight from YouTube. If we go back and choose Google Maps component, it should load that video straight from YouTube. So now we're completely up and running with a dynamic tutorial list uh, using the Creator Tutorials or whatever tutorials you'd like to throw in your video app, where you can search through name and description or whatever fields you'd like to program otherwise and open those up with our video component using route parameters to a detailed page. So we covered a lot of good stuff. I'm hoping this was useful to you guys. Yet again, we're always looking for more ideas for our weekly workshops. So let us know if you have any. Until then, I'll see you next time.